is a battle uh, that will be significant uh, and determinant, I believe, of the country's uh, issues and responsibilities, mm -hmm. and that most people feel like the federal government is failing on them. Absolutely. So we've got these states now, and it's sound we're well respected, not sure. crackpots who are talking about this. I mean, one person who says we should at least uh, look into this and possibly have sure. hearings to flesh it out is Senator John Cornyn out of right. Texas. Right. Um, they have one of the biggest issues there: 60 to 65,000 children on controlling our borders, securing the public safety and the national interest. With port security. states that are talking specifically about the 14th Amendment issue and coming together mm -hmm. to present right. a united front. Uh, a lot of folks think, well, they know these laws are immediately going to be challenged in court sure. if they're passed. A lot of think, people think that they're losers from a legal standpoint based yeah. on the rulings we've had in the past from the 14th Amendment. So All right, we will see. Lou Dobbs. Well, big cities facing huge budget gaps and making some very tough decisions from the creative to the shocking. Two minutes away from a new look at how some towns are dealing with a crippling lack of cash and police have issued a new House Republicans are ramping up their threats to try to repeal the new health care law as soon as they can and even talking about overriding President Obama's veto. Listen to this exchange between incoming Energy and Commerce Committee Chair Fred Upton and our own Chris Wallace just yesterday. But there are reports one violent drug gang is ready to call a truce, at least for one month. A letter purportedly from leaders of the cartel known as La Familia say they will suspend their criminal activities to prove their members are not to blame for all the violence in the region. William Lajeunesse is live in Los Angeles. Both that young woman and her sister later died of their injuries. We're hoping for our first video soon from the landfill where John Wheeler was found murdered. <laughs> A big battle brewing between the White House and the new Congress over the growing deficit and whether lawmakers should raise the debt ceiling. That would allow the nation to borrow even more than the $14.3 trillion limit set just last year. What is going on? A possible breakthrough in testing for a deadly disease. Scientists in Boston say they've come up with a way to detect cancer, claiming the test can discover a single cancer cell among a billion healthy ones. And just as amazing, this test could be on the market soon. Here to tell us more is Dr. Lee Vinoker from the University of Maryland Medical Center. Doctor, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. It's a pleasure being here. All right, how does this test work exactly? Well, you know, it really is kind of revolutionary. It is a battle uh, that will be significant uh, and determinant, I believe, of the country's. Uh, it is a battle uh, that will be.